Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game, Little Mouse's Encyclopedia. Now, this game is about learning about the world uh, with the help of a little mouse. Now, obviously, this is intended for five to eight-year-olds to learn about nature, but we're just going to see how well it gets stuff across and see how super adorbs it is. But obviously, this is not the kind of thing we would normally play on the channel, but it looked so incredibly Look cute. The that's what I'm saying, that we had to give it a try. All right. How to control the game. The animal or plant will come to life when you press on it. Discover by pressing uh, the Y button. Oh, the magnifying glass. The soil magnifying glass. This will help you. Okay. Open the tables? What do you mean by open the tables? Okay. Or King, as soon as Hoku uh, oh, clarified, he's so cute. Me, I did know which games you were referring to. Oh my god, look at him! often forget titles of things. Oh, he did have a mouse newspaper. Look, they're teaching us about grubs! Neat! Aww. I've seen so many of these in real life. I'm learning a lot about and, these guys. Like, the problem with the future without copyright oh, is wow. then you have people not being paid for their content. Yeah, and that's a real problem. And that's a real Until problem. we get it to a moneyless society. Yeah, like, artists are already getting ripped off all the time. They so. really are. What is that? Well, those are, those are possums. No, no, but look on the left. Like, they've put their grubs in a bowl. That's messed up, right? Look at them nuggling! So They're funny. hibernating. Possums are the cutest, you guys. Whoops. It's a shrew. It eats as much as it weighs every day out of grubs and whatnot. Aww. Oh, I totally will. Oh my god. Woman. Mice are adorable. Look I at the screen. Desire. Yes, I'm looking. Shrew, they form a, a they form a trailer behind their mother, where yeah. each one grabs the tail of the have one in front of it. That? Why would I have seen that? Oh my god! Watch more nature documentaries. That's so good. Did you not watch the nature uh, of things when you were growing up? Like, of course I did. This is Look at this! It doesn't have a stinging system. Well, that's good. Oh, fishing bit. Oh, cool. Mice are super cute. Well, Maddie, money only exists to help us manage resources, manage scarce resources. Once resources aren't scarce anymore, why do we need money? There's a now, there is currently in the world enough space for everyone to have a ho ha house and enough food for everyone to eat. Beyond that, why do you really need money? Hash from eggs. The nymph skins several times. After the final skin, the mole cricket goes up to... Okay. Damn. Oh, look at this little guy. He's coming to say hi to me! So that's a European mole cricket. Aww. It can fly and swim. You should totally turn on... Oh, this uh, is so cool. Hey, Tommy. ...while you're, like, doing housework or whatever. It's a good idea. Because you often listen to, hey, you know, depressing-ass podcasts, and I'm just saying. Nature of Things is great, too. Nature of Things? Are you totally saying listen. moles gather up? Oh, no. It, it... Oh, my God. Moles cripple earthworms and then drag them into a pantry to eat them later. That's messed up. It's adorbs. You and I have very different ideas of... I am sure, Maddie. Common mole. Fur, strong tail, eye, claws, nose, hind limbs. Because if you can tell me what money is for, other than to give us a system of exchange so we can manage limited resources, please tell me. Because I can't think of another thing money's for. The males grow a ta tall ridge in the period of reproduction. Food, amphibian. And meadows burrowed under the ground and seeks the water for reproduction. Nice. There are seven billion humans on Earth, Maddie. And we do. You we actually have enough food. You can look this up, Maddie. We have enough food right now to feed about 11 billion people a year. And a third of it just gets thrown away. Yep. And that's not even counting all of the food we grow to feed to our other food. But I'm not going to try and sell you on veganism or vegetarianism today. Don't worry. But, like, we're also... That's in addition to all the food we grow just to give to food. Which is an insane thing to do. 
There is a ton of food waste. You are correct. It's and a third of all things. food grown is wasted. And I mean... Really, Maddie? You can look it up. You don't have to trust me. I mean, your province oh, alone and our province both have tons of room for people. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, we live in a, in a city with a, you know that's having a housing crisis because everything's super expensive. But you drive, you know, what? Four hours north of here? Even even four hours? Not even. Well, Not even four hours. Yeah. Maybe four hours north of our city, and there's like a ton of <gasps> what? And houses. Look, and when he gets out of the ground, he just walks around. Well, and beyond that, have you looked at Quebec lately? Yeah. Ninety nine percent of Ke Quebec is just empty. Nope. Well, plenty of room. Technically, Quebec doesn't own that land. Yeah, that's a whole other conversation. Did I miss something? Yeah. That's true, Marissa. That is a good use for money. That is to true. waste on frivolous things. Oh, I'm sorry, Horror King. What did you? What was your question? What was I going to say before Guru interrupted me? I have no freaking clue. Well, you got to remember, Tommy. It's not like there's a river here. Water gets in, but it gets absorbed by the dirt and sucked up by the plants. So you can grow a burrow underwater, and yeah, it'll get a little damp, but there's not like... Water doesn't go straight down through the dirt, even when there's a hole. Even when you dig a hole, all the water gets sucked up by the ground around the hole. And you, as you can see, there's a lot of vegetation, so the vegetation will actually absorb the water, because yep. it needs water to, to grow. grow. exactly. So, uh, for example... There, uh, we live near the water, Aww. and further further down from us, there's right along the the river, there's a series of houses, and of course these are you know one story modest little houses, but because they're on the river and housing is you there, know, you go desire at high demand uh, in our city. They yeah. are buying these properties, tearing down these houses to build giant houses on these tiny little swaths of land by the river. So what has happened oh. in one of those properties is they tore down the house, plus all the trees and everything growing on that land, because they wanted to build a huge house on that land. But because they tore down all the vegetation, the land crumbled into the river. Half of the lot just fell away, and now there is no lot. Yeah. Where the house was is just a pit leading to the river. Yeah. It's terrible. So, so when you have vegetation, it's good because. Oh my God! They're teaching you how to observe earthworms. What? Oh, that's so cool. Pour the sand and stone into the grass, cover with paper, and seal with the tape. Add a couple of earthworms and leaves, and they'll mix the dirt themselves. Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know you could do that. This is stuff I never did for school. I, I didn't do it for school. I did it while we were fishing. That's awesome, Tommy. Nice. What's your cool movie idea, Wesley, if you want to share on the, on the stream? Okay. What? Bush Cricket. Hey, woman. Yes. That is sharp, so don't do that again, please. Thank you. I will keep doing that, but it's okay. It's very cute. It's no, unbelievably this, this cute. Here? Yes, I'm aware. It's, and you, yeah. I know. All right. Aww. Aww, pretty flower. That was a really cute flower. All right, and I need to find out about that fly. Aww. Right? Sometimes kids' games are the most fun. That's often true. So cute. Aww. The azure damselfly. Just like watching nature documentaries are like super relaxing and fun. But like what? the same ones, not the same ones, but the same, the ones that are produced are and you like kidding me? done by the same people that the ones we watched as a kid were. Because like there's still nature documentary documentaries, the ones we have here, but they're not, they're not like sensationalized. Damselflies live underwater. It's tough, Maddie, but at some point you just have to stop accepting that there need or needs to or in fact can be billionaires and just take their money. There's more of us than there are of them, so it's just what you have to do at some point. 
That's what they did to the kings mouse of Europe. Encyclo- encyclopedia? That's yep. what this is called? Little Mouse Encyclopedia. Little Mouse Encyclopedia. It's adorable. Aww. I kind of just want to play this game. It's super cute. In a minute, David, yeah. Look at those frog types. Oh, they don't lose their tails until they have full-size legs. See, I didn't know that. Look at that tadpole. It's so weird that that thing grows legs. Wow. Sorry, Tommy, are you asking why we don't go fishing in the game to get food? Or because I was talking to him about I used to do that with earthworms. Oh, she loves going fishing. fishing. Yeah, my whole family fished, and yes, for food. They shouldn't have. Well... No, you live next shouldn't. to an unbelievably polluted river. Yes, but that's, you know... Katie's caddisfly looks super cute. Interesting. Aww. Wesley, very interesting. Aww. Oh, whoops. I think I saw all of the around the burrow animals. <laughs> there are aphids? I would love to learn more about aphids. Oh, Seven Spot Ladybug, everybody. They're the deadliest and they feast on aphids. There is there is no food to get in this game, Tommy. It's literally a game about exploring as a mouse and learning about the world. That's the whole game. It's very adorable. It's unbelievably adorbs. Based on the, the critters and, and bugs and all that, is this like a European Yeah, critter? it's set in Europe. Okay, that's what I thought, based on. Oh. Longhorn beetle, carpenter and stag beetle. Wow. This game is so cute. It is. The art style reminds me of something. What does it remind me of? Hey, I'm not going to tell you immediately how to get rid of money completely, Maddie. But the first step is to decommodify water, housing, and food. You can still work and have money for all non-vital things. But, like, once we all work together and all of our internet, electricity, uh, housing, and food and water is free... Everything else is optional. We can all just spend money to deal with all of the stuff that doesn't matter, by comparison. But the first step is not making it cost money to be alive. Because in that way, you are essentially slaving pe- enslaving people to wages, which is inherently immoral. This is, game is only $5 on Steam? Wow. Well, of course. It's an encyclopedia. It's like, it's so not cute. a game game. Yeah, you but just it's adorable. I want to oh, my it. God. Look at that picture. Look at that sketch of a hedgehog. What is this called again? Little Mouse Encyclopedia. Little Mouse Encyclopedia. Oh, well, that's not true, Maddie. If humans didn't know how to work together, we wouldn't have survived as a species. The whole point of humanity is we're the species that works together best. That's why we've accomplished things. All we have to do is get over the idea, you know, stop listening to the rich people who want to exploit us, and we'll do fine. And, oh my god, look at the size of that foxy fox. What? Uh Uh-oh, he's hungrily licking his lips at the sight of the mouse. He is so cute. Look at that fox. Look at him so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. Wow. I love this guy. He's so adorbs. Seriously, what does this artwork remind you of? I know it. Well, first off, it looks like paper craft. Like it's looked yeah. like it's made out of cut pieces of paper. We've all seen children's books that look like this bad boy. Oh wow, this... fiddleheads! No, damn. It is. Look well, at that. Fern. Actually, it's kind of similar. This is kind of similar to Kim's art, isn't it? It is. Remember the yeah. alphabet art that she used to do? I do. Oh, it is similar to that. That's what was driving me A crazy. common European adder. Wow. We haven't seen any spiders yet. You're right. It's slightly strange. Oh, I just took an elevator. Who the hell is sleeping in that tree? That's an owl. What is that? Ha- There's the spider, everybody. Damn. Ooh. I did not see your movie idea, Wesley, I'm sorry to say. Oh, is- yeah, you got to scroll back up. It's- there's a lot there. Okay. Ah. I see. 
Honestly, that's a pretty cool jumping off point. I don't know what would happen then, but yeah. Like, uh, some sort of force. Oh, look at that common buzzard. Bringing back, uh, World War II things to fight an invasion. That could be very interesting. Oh, the stinger is barbed. Look at that egg. Three egg larva, four larva friends. Oh, worker bee feeding a larva. Because that's their job. I'm climbing a tree, everybody. Alright, we're going to find this spider as we were asked to. Oh, uh, is that a bat? Yep. What? Oh, this guy's so cute. Listen to, him. Listen to him go. Well, yeah, obviously. Wesley. Here's the spider. Aww. A nursery web spider. Four pairs of eyes. Nice. Meadows, garden, parks, and the edge of the forest can grow up to 15 millimeters. That's tiny. Aww. Before they mate, he'll bring her some food. I do think it's possible, Maddie, uh, for Russia to work with the United States. It's not easy because people have to get over their prejudices. And again, people in power will do almost anything to pit us against each other and keep us from realizing that, you know, we're all humans who deserve to be alive. Uh, but it can be done. It's happened in the past. Uh, you're right that it's tough, though. Aww. So cute. I didn't know they're sensitive to air pollution. Makes sense, though. I did. Wow, this game is gorge. Is. Um, you need to focus on the screen right now. He's chomping on an on a pine cone. It's one of those baby pine cones. Red squirrel. His shaggy fur becomes bigger in win. Uh, his shaggy ears become bigger in winter. Yo. What? Yo. And yes, they do use their tails to balance. Yo. They are cute, Marissa. Like tarantula sp style spiders, the giant fluffy spiders. Spruce cone. How does a tree grow? Ah. So it lands on the ground, dig, 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 grow, 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 and then boom. Spiders like to bite me, so I have a war with the spiders. But Hoguru will catch them and set them free outside for me. I would never let somebody kill a spider. That's not cool. We just don't always tell Wild them. strawberries! Oh, wild strawberries They are, are the best. best. And look, even that little monster aphid loves the wild strawberries. Aww. He's chowing away on it. Maybe. Yeah. That is a problem, Gibson. Oh, look at these guys go. It's how an anthill works! Aww. Accommodates more than a million ants. Well, that's terrifying. Wow. Storage of living food. Oh my god. Fun fact, ants farm aphids. That's a real thing they do. They have farms. Oh, we already looked at that. All right. So we're going to take a break from uh, Little Mouse Encyclopedia, because if we don't... Oh, look at this guy. Aww. We're just going to play the whole game. And, I mean, I would like people to see this on their own. Yeah. But before we go, we are going to check out Mr. Badger. Oh, my God, how cute is that guy? Mm. It is weird, Marissa. But that's kind of the channel's brand. European Badger! Oh, it's a mustelid predatory mammal. It's omnivorous and lives up to 15... Aww. Dang. It's all a part of our chill stream promise, Marissa. Wait, you what? It. It's not actually a chill stream? Oh, okay. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with us. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. We'll be back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir. Au revoir.